My name is Dr. Ed Donovan, and if your doctor has recommended a bone density scan or you're curious about what it involves, then this video is here to help. A bone density scan, also known as a DEXA scan, uses low-dose x-rays to measure how dense or strong your bones are. It is a quick, painless, and very safe procedure that helps to identify your risk of osteoporosis. In this video, we're going to cover what a DEXA scan is and why it's done, who might need one, what happens during the scan, understanding the results, and whether there are any risks. So first of all, what is a bone density scan and why might you need one? Well, a DEXA scan helps to assess the strength of your bones as well as your risk of potential fractures. It's more sensitive than a regular x-ray and it can pick up even small reductions in bone density, so it's a really useful test. Now, doctors often use it to diagnose osteoporosis, which is a condition that makes bones weaker and more likely to break, typically as you get older. It also assesses your risk of breaking a bone in the future, or it can monitor your bone health over time, especially if you're on specific treatments. Now, it can also be used alongside a fracture risk assessment tool to help guide decisions about potential lifestyle changes or potential medications. So let's now talk about who might be offered this scan. Well, you might be referred for a DEXA scan if you're over 50 and have risk factors for osteoporosis, you're under 50 but have had a broken bone, smoke, or have another risk factor like low body weight, you've gone through an early menopause or you've had your ovaries removed and haven't had HRT, you've taken steroid tablets like prednisolone for more than three months because these are known to weaken the bones, or you have a condition that affects your bones, such as rheumatoid arthritis or a thyroid disorder. Now, older postmenopausal women are especially at risk of osteoporosis as estrogen levels drop after the menopause, which can lead to bone loss. So let's now briefly discuss what happens during a DEXA scan. Well, it's actually a very straightforward process. You'll be asked to lie on your back on a flat x-ray table. A large scanning arm will slowly pass over your body you'll usually be scanned at the hip and the lower spine, but sometimes the forearm is scanned too, especially if a spine or hip scan isn't possible. Now, you'll need to lie very still for the scan, which usually takes 10 to 20 minutes. No injections or contrast dye are used, and there's no need to fast beforehand. You may be able to stay fully dressed, but you'll need to remove clothes with metal fasteners like zips or buckles. And the good news is you can typically go home immediately after the scan and carry on with your usual activities. So let's now look at how the scan results are interpreted. Well, your results will be compared to the bone density of two groups of people. Firstly, a young, healthy adult, and this gives you what is called a T-score. Then someone of your same age, sex, and ethnicity. This is called a Z or Z-score. Now, T-scores are used to diagnose osteoporosis in adults, and here is how they're classified. A T-score of above minus 1 is considered normal. Between minus 1 and minus 2.5 is classed as low bone density, sometimes called osteopenia, and at or below minus 2.5 is defined as osteoporosis. Now, Z-scores are more useful in younger people under 30 or children and help to show whether your bone density is lower than expected for your age. The doctor will consider your scores alongside other risk factors, so things like age, medication use, history of fractures, as well as your overall health to decide if treatment is needed. And ideally, this is going to be a joint discussion where you can discuss the potential options as well as potential drawbacks to any treatment. Now, are there any risks with the scan? Well, a DEXA scan is actually very safe. The amount of radiation you're exposed to is extremely low, much lower than a standard X-ray, and safe enough that the radiographer can stay in the room with you. However, DEXA scans are not recommended during pregnancy just as a precaution because even low levels of radiation can potentially affect an unborn baby. So before we finish this video, are there any limitations? Well, a DEXA scan is a helpful tool, but it is not perfect like any test. It can't always distinguish between different causes of bone loss like osteoporosis versus osteomalacia, which is related to low vitamin D. And in some cases, such as with spinal arthritis or previous fractures, the results can be harder to interpret. Still, when used alongside a full risk assessment, it provides really valuable information to help guide your bone health treatment plan. 
Now, in a separate video, we can discuss some of the potential treatments for osteoporosis and osteomalacia, but to sum up, a bone density scan is a quick, painless, and low-risk way of checking your bone strength and spotting signs of osteoporosis early before any fractures happen. So in this case, it's a really useful tool. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you've had a DEXA scan and want to share your experiences, we would love to hear from you. So please do post in the comment section as well. For more information on DEXA scans, please check out the description box of this video where I've included lots of useful, trusted resources. Thanks for watching and take care.